Hi, I'm Shilpa from Little Shilpa. I'm a designer from India and that's my show, my new spring summer collection and it's inspired from Alice in Wonderland. The title of the collection is Madness of Muchness because in the book uh, Alice has her own language, you know, they create their own language, there are no rules and they're all talking English in a very kind of broken English way but it's kind of also makes sense. So it is Madness of Muchness which means it is too mad but it's also a madness of it being too much but also a madness of it being you know like exhilarating so it could have different meanings so I've got a hat there that says madness of much and so it is like it is it's like an overpowering uh, sense of like different emotions feelings or anything really it is about being invited to an Alice in Wonderland tea party and it is called the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So, it, you know, so the girls are inviting you to join them into their tea party and it is about like, you know, sometimes you just give up and just have fun in your life. There's no need to be serious all the time. I do millinery, which is headpieces. I do a bit of accessories, but it's all, you know, playful, um, maybe collars or epaulets that you can pin onto a t-shirt or a shirt, things that you can kind of, it's more like a game where you can, you know, pick up different pieces from different collections and just wear it with different pieces of your outfit. This piece is called Down the Rabbit Hole because when Alice falls down the rabbit hole, it's all like a tipsy, topsy-turvy world and there's no kind of proper vision, so it's all like a mix up of worlds. Then I have another top which is what I call the Pool of Tears, which is a blue origami hand stitched and hand embroidered top. Uh, there are some pieces, head pieces, which are inspired from the pack of cards. And then I've got uh, the hearts and the clubs and the spades as they're fixed on springs onto a normal t-shirt. And then you can put there, change the different designs with press buttons. Uh, I've got pleated fabrics, I've got different textures so that everything is all about being in a topsy-turvy world and there's no such rule where things need to always match but sometimes there's a method to the madness so when for me it's all about like if you add so many things together somehow or the other they all kind of synchronize and all fa falls in place. I don't really stick to a specific kind of raw material when I'm making my headpieces. It always comes from the inspiration of the collection. So it's always uh, either the title of the show or it could be something I saw on the streets and I'm inspired by the colour or the shape of it. So it's not like it's like it's not like a parallel where you're only using fabric, you know. I've done pieces out of slippers, I've done pieces out of paper, out of plastic, out of television screens. So it can be anything. And that's the fun of it. When my guests or the audience come and watch my show, I want them to be part of whatever world I'm connecting. So that's why the lighting, the you know, the costumes, even the sound of it is very a very, very important part when I do my presentations. And that's why I prefer doing presentations and not doing a runway show because a presentation allows you to stay longer, you can go feel the garment, it's more real. What you choose to wear every day tells a story that's going on in your head. You what you wear, you want to present yourself like that and that's your image that you carry of yourself to the world around you. So it's a very important, it's a very personal, important uh, connection between us and fashion. You know, it's not like fashion is only meant for the runway and there's only brands that work in fashion. I don't think so. You do clothes as well? Yeah. The basic fabric is denim and uh, the reason for that is because I still wanted it to be a very casual collection and it is for street wear but at the same time you know it's does it it's not like it closes somebody off because i think everybody wears denim every day you know and i've done like a basic t-shirt block so some of them have uh, they are longer in the at the back they some of them are really really short some of them turn into capes but it's a basic t-shirt block that i've used and then tr done different textures and different fabrics over it we are all thinking about sustainable as a real big word in fashion right now and I think if each of us try and do something small, you know, towards it, I think there will be a time when everybody will just think of fashion as being sustainable, not as a fashion word, but as something that we do in our everyday life. What do you think fashion will look like in the future? I have a feeling that we're going to go back into brighter colours. I have a feeling that Paris will start wearing bright colours in the winter. I've never felt that there's anything right or wrong in fashion because what might work on me may not work on someone else, but that does not make it wrong. 
You see, because when somebody is designing something, they're not thinking, okay, that's the specific kind of person who's going to buy it. When it's out there, it's out there for the world. And then whoever chooses to have that into their world, they buy into it.